Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi, everybody. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 22nd of April. We're looking at the Dow. Remember, the Dow made a high of 35,372 uh, back on around about the 28th of uh, March. Pulled back, had a cup formation, broke out of what I call the falling axe, had a really spectacular uh, day on that was on, when, on Wednesday. Yesterday, it went to a new recovery high and actually hit uh, 30, 34, 35,492. And today is trading at 34,438. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's really a very big, uh, it's 1,100 points. It's a big move. And it's gone back underneath the Chapman Falling Axe. Um, what was a repellent line then became a propellant line, and now it's a repellent line. That says by Tuesday of this coming week, the Dow needs to attempt at least to get to um, probably the 34,800s. As we're looking at it right now, you can see this left side high that was made on the 29th of March and the high that was made yesterday. The MACD was starting to fail. It was still positive. Uh, it's just a, a break even right now, and the stochastic was much weaker, so you can expect some kind of a pullback. Very different to the S&P. The S&P has just made lower lows and mostly lower highs, but is now way under the 200-period moving average, uh, acting very weakly. It's down 30 points at 43.64. You're looking at the QQQ, so that's down 0.69%. The QQQ is finally up uh, a little bit. It, well, now it's down. It's down uh, uh, 25 cents at 33.86. It too has been making these lower lows and mostly lower highs. Mm, we got to watch this closely. Any move into the 328 level by Monday or Tuesday will be very negative. Got to see some kind of a bounce. IWM Russell 2000 mm, had uh, it's holding above the low that was made recently. Uh, it's down a dollar at 196. It's holding okay, but it's nothing great. Look at gold. Gold had pulled back much uh, deeper a little earlier on. It's come back a little bit. It's down down five at 1943. I'd say it's just stuck in a range. Nothing, nothing very negative. It's just stuck in a range. Digesting big gains. Same with crude oil and the TLT. Just kept making lower lows, but now it's trying to find some kind of a base. And I'll talk about that when I get back from my Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter as well. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you, hope you can stay. Otherwise, have a great